Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Careers Cloud is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for the fourth week of the March month. Session will be quite interesting and important. So do pay attention till the end. Let's start. The first question is which edition of India, Mozambique and Tanzania trilateral exercise that is IMT trilet was held. Question asked here is that which edition of this exercise was held recently. So this was the second edition of this IMT trilet exercise. Right. And what is IMT? India, Mozambique and Tanzania. These are the three countries. That is the reason. Trilet exercise. Right. Take a note of this. And it was conducted on 29th of March. Correct. Then from Indian side. Which INS took part here? INS Tir and INS Sujata took part here. Next. In March. Dash became the first Indian state to launch the state water resource information system dashboard. So which is that state? It is Rajasthan, right? Rajasthan became the first Indian state to launch the state water resource information system dashboard, right? This will basically forecast your droughts, right? This will provide better water management of water management of water resources that are available in the state of Rajasthan. Correct. This will provide real time information about the water resources. Correct. And it will predict or forecast droughts in a particular area of Rajasthan. So Rajasthan, it became the first state to launch state water resource information system dashboard. Next, 
नेम द पोर्टल दैट वॉज रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया टू एडवांस द विजन ऑफ डिजिटल इंक्लूजन सो विच इज दैट पोर्टल इट इज भाषा नेट पोर्टल करेक्ट एम ई आई टी वाई एंड नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव लॉन्च भाषा नेट पोर्टल टू एडवांस द विजन ऑफ डिजिटल इंक्लूजन दिस पोर्टल वॉज लॉन्च बाय सॉरी दिस पोर्टल वॉज लॉन्च ड्यूरिंग यूनिवर्सल एक्सेप्टेंस डे इंडिया इवेंट राइट दिस वॉज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च करेक्ट एंड वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड लोकेशन एट डॉक्टर अंबेडकर इंटरनेशनल सेंटर दैट इज इन न्यू डेली करेक्ट एंड हेयर द भाषा नेट द एम हेर इज टू क्रिएट मल्टी लिंगुअल इंटरनेट द एम हेर इज टू क्रिएट मल्टी लिंगुअल इंटरनेट करेक्ट वेयर लोकल लैंग्वेज वेबसाइट नेम्स एंड ई मेल आई डीज वर्क सीमलेसली एवरीवेयर आई रिपीट वॉट इज द एम ऑफ दिस भाषा नेट इट इज टू प्रोवाइड मल्टी लिंगुअल इंटरनेट Correct. Where local languages, website names, and email IDs will be working seamlessly. And this was this Bharsha Net was launched during Universal Acceptance Day India on twenty first of March, of which event was held in location at Dr. Ambedkar International Center in New Delhi. Correct. And this was launched by M E I T Y and Nixi, that is National Internet Exchange of India. Correct. And what was the theme under which this Bharat Net was launched? Or uh, this Event was held. That is, Bhasha Net impetuous towards universal acceptance. Next, in which city exercised Tiger Trump? That is the third edition of the bilateral tri-service humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise. That is an amphibious exercise held between India and USA conducted. So, where was this exercise held? That is, Tiger Trump. So, this exercise. Tiger Trium. This is the third edition of this exercise. This exercise was held where? Correct. So this was held first of all. Remember between India and USA. That is H A D R exercise. That is humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise. And where was this held? Location. It is in Vishaka Patnam. Correct. This exercise was held. Next, in which city ISRO recently conducted the Pushpak reusable launch vehicle autonomous landing mission? So. pushpak isro lo conducted this pushpak question asked is in which city so it was in chitradurga karnataka right isro successfully conducted the pushpak correct that is a reusable launch vehicle autonomous landing mission it was at the atr that is as aeronautical test range in chitradurga karnataka Next, name the personality who has recently selected as India's flag bearer for 2024 Olympic Games. So, who has been selected as the flag bearer? And next question can be asked is who will be the torch bearer? So, for flag bearer, if it is asked, so right option here becomes Achanta Sharat Kamal. Right, Achanta Sharat Kamal. He is a table tennis player. Correct, and he will be the flag bearer for twenty twenty four Olympic Games that will be held in Paris, France, and he will be the nineteenth flag bearer for India at the Olympic Games. If we talk about torch bearer Abhinav Bindra, who is related to shooting, will be the torch bearer at the Paris Olympic Games. Next, which company has recently opened their Lyzen office in Dhaka, Bangladesh? so numaligarh refinery limited right they have recently opened their license office in dhaka bangladesh and this will be the first cross border pipeline for the supply of petroleum products to bangladesh next which iit has recently developed neo stand that is india's most customizable electric standing wheelchair so which is that iit it is iit madras right iit madras recently they have developed neo stand correct this is the most customizable electric standing wheelchair correct this was developed indigenously for the benefit of wheelchair users and this neo stand was launched at iit campus correct of iit madras this neo stand this is a compact standing wheelchair compact standing wheelchair next name the indian who has been recently elected as the co-chairman of digital innovation board of the international telecommunication union that is itu so who is that indian neeraj mittal 
करेक्ट हैज बीन रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड एज द को चेयरमैन ऑफ डिजिटल इनोवेशन बोर्ड ऑफ द आई टी यू दैट इज इंटरनेशनल टेलीकॉम्युनिकेशन यूनियन नेक्स्ट इन मार्च यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली अडॉप्टेड द फर्स्ट ग्लोबल रेजोल्यूशन ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन आस्ट इज विच कंपनी प्रपोज द नॉन बाइंडिंग रेजोल्यूशन सो यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली दे अडॉप्टेड द फर्स्ट ग्लोबल रेजोल्यूशन ऑन ए आई क्वेश्चन आस्ट इज विच कंपनी प्रपोज द नॉन बाइंडिंग रेजोल्यूशन इट वॉज प्रपोज बाई यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका राइट एंड इट वॉज को स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई अदर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री कंट्रीज दैट इंक्लूड योर चाइना क्यूबा एंड रशिया एंड दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली हैज अडॉप्टेड अ रेजोल्यूशन ऑन रेगुलेटिंग एन इमरजिंग फील्ड दैट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस राइट दिस विल हेल्प अस टू सेफ कार्ड द ह्यूमन राइट्स प्रोटेक्ट पर्सनल डाटा एंड मॉनिटर द रिस्क दैट आर एसोसिएटेड विद आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस नेक्स्ट इज विच बैंक अलॉन्ग विद एन पी सी आई रिसेंटली लॉन्च अ रूपे स्मार्ट की चेंज फ्लैश पे फॉर कॉन्टेक्टलेस नेशनल कॉमन मोबिलिटी कार्ड सो दिस फ्लैश पे राइट सो विच बैंक अलॉन्ग विद एन पी सी आई लॉन्च अ रूपे स्मार्ट की चेन दैट इज फ्लैश पे दिस इज अ स्मार्ट की चेन करेक्ट इट इज अ पावर्ड बाय रूपे नेटवर्क राइट क्वेश्चन आस्ट हेयर इज दैट विच बैंक अलॉन्ग विद एन पी सी आई लॉन्च इट सो इट वॉज फेडरल बैंक अलॉन्ग विद एन पी सी आई दे हैव लॉन्च दिस रूपे स्मार्ट की चेन दैट इज फ्लैश पे नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू मंथली इकोनॉमिक रिव्यू रिपोर्ट फॉर फेब ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर रिलीज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस इंडिया ग्रोथ इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी बिटवीन डैश इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर so according to monthly economic review report of february released by dea and the ministry of finance india's growth rate is expected to be between 6.5% to 7% in the financial year 25 so right option becomes option 1 next name the personality who was recently awarded with the abel prize 2024 for mathematics so michael pierre telegrand right he was awarded with abel prize and what is abel prize Abel Prize is known as the Nobel Prize in the field of mathematics. Correct, Abel Prize is the Nobel Prize of mathematics, and it was awarded to Michael Pierre Telegrand. He is a seventy-two year old mathematician, right? And for his work in the probability theory, he was awarded with this award. And he became twenty seventh recipient of Abel Prize, correct? And he became the fifth Frenchman. to be awarded with this award next who has been recently named as the prime minister of portugal so luis philip montegro has been recently appointed as the new prime minister of portugal he will succeed whom he will be succeeding antonio costa right he will be succeeding antonio costa next name the personality who has recently won the men's single title at the world table tennis feeder beret 2024 that was held in lebanon so sahitya ganeshkaran right he is the personality who has recently won the men's single title at the world table tennis feeder beret 2024 that was held in lebanon right and he became the first ever indian to win the men's single trophy at the wtt feeder series event next when was un world water day observed across the globe so un world water day was observed on 22nd of march 2024 there was a theme for this day that you need to remember theme being water for peace water for peace there was another theme that is leveraging water for peace leveraging water for peace so these are the two themes that you need to remember next who has been recently appointed as the chairperson of prasar bharti navneet sigal navneet sigal has been appointed as the chairperson of prasar bharti right next telecom regulatory authority of india that is trai released the telecommunication mobile number portability regulations to eliminate the porting of mobile numbers using fraudulent subscribers identity module that is sim question asked here is that the regulations come into effect from so this will be from 1st of july 2024 correct and according to these regulations right within 7 days you cannot opt for a different regulator right so first say for example you have 
चेंज योर मोबाइल नंबर राइट एम एन पी इज योर मोबाइल नंबर पोर्टेबिलिटी राइट वंस यू हैव चेंज योर मोबाइल नंबर यू रिक्वायर वंस यू चेंज योर ऑपरेटर ऑफ दैट मोबाइल नंबर यू रिक्वायर यू पी सी यू पी सी इज योर यूनिक पोर्टिंग कोड एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉर चेंजिंग योर सर्विस प्रोवाइडर अंडर दिस मोबाइल नंबर पोर्टेबिलिटी एंड वंस दिस यू पी सी इज प्रोवाइडेड देन द ऑपरेटर्स यू कैन नॉट ऑप्ट फॉर अनदर ऑपरेटर फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज सो दीज रूल्स विल कम इन टू इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई Next, according to 13th edition of the Huron Global Rich List released in March, Mukesh Ambani has been ranked as the world's dash richest person, while Dash has topped the position for the third year in a row. So, according to the 13th Huron Global Rich List released in March, Mukesh Ambani ranked as the world's which richest person. So, according to this, Mukesh Ambani was the 10th richest person in the world, whereas Elon Musk topped the position for third time in a row. Correct. and if we talk about here elon musk he, after elon musk is on top then elon musk is followed by jeff bezos then he is followed by bernard allnet correct for elon musk the total worth is around 231 billion dollar for jeff bezos it is close to 185 billion dollar and for bernard allnet it is 175 billion dollar next that is securities and exchange board of india sebi instructed the association of mutual funds in india to halt inflows into overseas exchange traded funds from dash so sebi instructed the association of mutual funds in india to halt inflows into overseas exchange traded fund from from 1st of april 2024 right the decision comes as the current limit of 1 billion dollar set by rbi is nearing exhaustion and even if you have seen that the trading in the this is a different news uh, the other trading in the foreign exchange in the inr usd play usd pair has now been stopped by the government rbi said that by 5th of april you need to close all the positions or directly even the exchanges we can close your positions directly by 5th of april next International Astronomical Union approved the name dash for the landing site of Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander. So it is Stasio Shiv Shakti. Correct. International Astronomical Union they have approved the name Stasio Shiv Shakti for the landing site of Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander. This approval was given on 19th of March. Correct. Take a note of this. Next. In March, government announced a plan to sell up to dash stake in NLC India through offer for sale to raise up to two thousand crore rupees to twenty one thousand two thousand crore rupees to twenty one hundred crore rupees. So, government announced a plan to sell up to seven percent stake in NLC India through an offer for sale to raise up to two thousand crore rupees to two thousand one hundred crore rupees. right and the government is looking to sell up to 5% stake in the state owned firms with an option to exercise the green shoe option to sell an additional 2% stake here next according to india employment report youth education employment and skills published by ilo and institute of human development in march india's youth account for almost dash percent of the unemployed workforce in india so india's youth account for 83% of the unemployed workforce in India this data was released by ILO and IHD International Labour Organization and Institute of Human Development correct and they suggested and they this report stated that 83% of the youths or 80 almost if we are having 100 per employment unemployed youth among them uh, or 100 unemployed people among them 83 will be youth right next Which bank or organization has recently signed a pact with the NTPC Limited for sourcing foreign currency loans of two hundred million dollar? I repeat, which bank or organization recently signed a pact with NTPC Limited for sourcing foreign currency loans of two hundred million dollar? It is JICA, Japan International Corporation Agency, correct? And this is for sourcing currency loans of worth two hundred million dollar. that roughly close to 1650 crore rupees and here jbic they will be providing 60% of the facility and the rest will be provided by other commercial banks under jbic guarantee 
नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रिलिमिनरी डाटा ऑन इंडिया बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट फॉर द थर्ड क्वार्टर ऑफ फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर रिलीज बाई आर बी आई इन मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट वॉज द करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर द थर्ड क्वार्टर ऑफ फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर सो द करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट इज टेन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर राइट दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू इंश्योरेंस हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर रिपोर्ट रिलीज बाई ब्रांड फाइनेंस इन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर डैश एमर्ज एज द वर्ल्ड स्ट्रॉगेस्ट इंश्योरेंस ब्रांड विद ब्रांड वैल्यू अप टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर परसेंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर परसेंट टू नाइन एट नाइन पॉइंट एट बिलियन डॉलर सो कमिंग बैक इंश्योरेंस हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर रिलीज रिपोर्ट दैट वॉज रिलीज बाई ब्रांड फाइनेंस एंड विच एमर्ज एज द वर्ल्ड स्ट्रॉगेस्ट इंश्योरेंस ब्रांड it is your life insurance corporation of india that is lic they emerged as the world's strongest insurance brand with a brand value up by 0.04% to 9.8 billion dollar correct and they have a brand strength index score of 88.3 and they have a triple a brand strength rating then lic is followed by taiwan based cathay life insurance right so on first is lic and on second is taiwan based cathay life insurance third supreme court appointed a seven member expert committee for the preservation of the critically endangered dash so supreme court they appointed a seven member committee for the preservation of the critically endangered great indian bustard right next next is name the companies that have recently received the approval from the competition commission of india for subscription to compulsorily convertible preference shares b of api holding limited so companies or name the companies which are they it is memg llp and 361 so option 4 is correct here these are the companies that received the approval from cci for subscription to compulsorily convertible preference shares b of api holding limited next is name the portal that has recently launched by election commission of india to facilitate easier voting for persons with disability which is that portal it is saksham portal right this saksham portal has recently launched by the election commission of india and it was for providing ease to the persons with disabilities that they can also vote correct and for the persons above 85 years of age and person with disability with 40% of the benchmark they will be provided the option that they can vote from home correct they can vote from home next name the personality who has recently won f1 australian grand prix 2024 so who is that personality carlos sainz junior right he is the person who recently won f1 australian grand prix carlos sainz junior he drives for which company he drives for ferrari right and he has won the f1 grand prix who was second here charles lesler he also drives for ferrari next one more thing who was on third position here lando norris he was on the third position right next in which state india's first national dolphin research center was inaugurated so india's first national dolphin research center was inaugurated in patna bihar this national dolphin research center this spans to over 4400 square meter plot on the premises of patna university near ganga which football club has recently won the first indian women's league football title it is odisha football club right they have recently won the first indian women's league football title and odisha they have topped the seven team table with 31 points from 17 matches and odisha football club they won the indian women's league football title where was this held this was held in bhuvneshwar in the month of march next ministry of rural development notified a dash increase in the wage rate of workers under the manrega for financial year 25 so remember ministry of rural development they notified a 3 to 10% increase in the wage rates for the manrega employees right the new wage hike will be ranging from 7 to 26 rupees they will be coming into effect from 1st of april 2024 and goa here they witnessed the highest hike of 10.56% correct while up 
and Uttarakhand, they witnessed the lowest hike of 3.04%. Next, which country's aerospace industries has recently opened their Indian subsidiary Aerospace Services India in New Delhi? So it is Israel. Correct, Israel's aerospace industries, they have recently opened their Indian subsidiary Aerospace Services India. It is in New Delhi. And this ASI, it will be working as a sole authorized OEM manufacturer for medium range surface to air surface to air missile that is medium range surface to air missile mrsam correct and these mrsam will be delivered to indian army indian air force and indian navy that is all the forces of india and these mrsam they are jointly developed by iai and drdo along with bharat dynamics limited Next, according to the Food Waste Index report released by UNEP in March, the world wasted an estimated of dash food produced globally in 2022. So, according to Food Waste Index report released by UNEP in March, the world wasted an estimated of 19% of the food produced globally in 2022. That is close to 1.05 billion metric tons of food that was wasted. This equals to 132 kg per person amounting to nearly one fifth of all the available food that was wasted because 19 percent is close to one fifth next which of the following companies were recently re has recently retained the domestically systematically important insurer status by irdi right so which is the organization they are general insurance corporation of india life insurance corporation of india and new india assurance all these three organizations they have retained their dsii status that is domestically systematically important insurer status given by irdai next name the regulatory body that has recently modified the norms to the investment regulated entities in the alternative investment fund it is rbi right rbi has recently modified the norms to the investment by regulated entities in the alternative investment fund according to the new directive downstream investments for regulated entities should exclude equity shares of the debtor company but include other investments including hybrid instrument next india released the second tranche of 500 crore rupees to dash country for gyalsang infrastructure project this gyalsang infrastructure project this is in bhutan so india they have released the second tranche of 500 crore rupees first tranche of 500 crore rupees was already released this is second tranche and total 1500 crore rupees has been committed here for this gyalsang infrastructure project that is in bhutan option 5 is right here next name the personality from india who has been recently appointed as the assistant secretary general and special representative of the security general for disaster risk reduction in united nations office for disaster risk reduction so who is that personality kamal kishore right kamal kishore from india he has been recently appointed as the assistant secretary general and special representative of the security group for disaster risk reduction in the united nations office for disaster risk reduction right take a note of this he will succeed whom he will be succeeding mami mizutori next psychologist daniel kehman won the nobel prize in dash field in 2022 who passed away in march 2024 so psychologist daniel Kehman won the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences, right, in the field of Economic Sciences in 2002 and he recently passed away at the age of 90. He was born in 1934 in Tel Aviv, that is in Israel now. Next, which small finance bank has recently partnered with Vfin Solutions Limited to provide end-to-end -end solutions for MSME growth? Which is that small finance bank? Ujjivan Small Finance Bank. They have recently partnered with Vfin Solution Limited to provide end-to-end -end solutions for MSME growth. Next, according to India TB report, that is tuberculosis report released by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in March, India's incidence of tuberculosis cases declined to dash an 18% reduction in mortality since 2015. What is mortality? It is the deaths that are caused because of tuber losses so recently india tv report was released it was released by ministry of health and family welfare and india's incidence of tuberculosis cases that is the number of cases that are coming has declined to 
16% and there has been a reduction of tuberculosis related deaths by 18%. So right option here becomes option 1. This data was released by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Next, according to the report that is State of Solar Photovoltaic Manufacturing in India 2024, published by Mercom India in March 2024, India has installed how much gigawatt of solar module and cell capacity in 2023. So, India has installed a 24 gigawatt of solar module and cell capacity in 2023. And which is the state that is performing the best in solar rooftop capacity or solar rooftop photovoltaic? or solar rooftop panels in that area. So it is Gujarat that is performing the best here. Next. Next is how many sites were recently added to the UNESCO Global Geoparks Network. So as of now, a total of 18 sites were recently added to the UNESCO Global Geoparks Network. Additionally, a transboundary geopark spans Belgium and the Kingdom of Netherlands. Correct. With this, remember in India, with the addition of these 18 new geoparks, India has a total network of 213. Oh, sorry, I correct. With the addition of these 18 geoparks, the total network of the geoparks in 48 countries globally is 213. So there are 213 geoparks globally. Next, Government of India updated the list of banks authorized by RBI to import gold and silver during the financial year 25. Which of the following banks were permitted to import only gold? So there were three banks that were permitted to import only gold. There are Punjab National Bank, Union Bank of India and Indian Overseas Bank. So these are the three banks that were permitted to import only gold. Correct. And this will be with effect from 1st of April 2024. Right, these are the three banks that can import only gold. Then, next, who has been recently appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of the Bank of Maharashtra? So, Nidhu Saxena. Nidhu Saxena was appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of the Bank of Maharashtra for a period of three years. Right, for how many time? For a period of three years. He was Nidhu Saxena was appointed as the MD and CEO of Bank of Maharashtra. He will replace whom? He will be replacing A.S. Rajiv. He will replace A.S. Rajiv. Next, name the hockey personalities who have been recently appointed as the co-chairs of International Hockey Federation's new athlete committee. So, Pratu Ravindran, that is P.R. Srijesh, Pratu Ravindran, Srijesh and Camila Karam. They both have been recently appointed as the co-chair of International Hockey Federation's new athlete committee. Right. And here, remember, Camilla Karam, she will be assigned the co-chair and athletes committee representative on the executive board. And PR Srijesh is the co-chair and he will lead the planning and meeting alongside with Camilla Karam. Next, which company has recently test fired the stage 2 of Vikram 1, Vikram 1 space launch vehicle that is Kalam 250. So, it will be Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited, right? So, which company recently test fired stage 2 of the Vikram 1 space launch vehicle Kalam 250? It is Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited. And this test was conducted at the propulsion test bed of ISRO at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Next, name the Indian personality who has recently won gold medal in the 59 kg youth category at Para Powerlifting World Cup held in Egypt. So, who name the Indian personality who won the gold medal here? Who he will be? Tell me the name. So, right option here is Vinay. Correct. He is the Indian uh, personality or Indian power, Para Powerlifter who won the gold medal in the 59 kg category at the para power lifting world cup that was held in egypt next irdi and uh, irdi mandated that all insurance policies should be issued in electronic form with effect from 1st of april 2024 right take a note of this important question right even remember recently sebi they have launched t plus zero settlement next which company has recently emerged as the first company in India to obtain the 
एल्यूमिनियम स्टूवरशिप इनिशिएटिव परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड वी थ्री सर्टिफिकेशन विच इज इट इट इज भारत एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड करेक्ट दे हैव एमर्ज एज द फर्स्ट कंपनी इन इंडिया टू ऑप्टेन द एल्यूमिनियम स्टीवरशिप इनिशिएटिव परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड वी थ्री सर्टिफिकेशन एंड दिस इज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अ ब्रॉड रेंज ऑफ प्राइमरी एल्यूमिनियम प्रोडक्ट्स एट इट्स कोरबा फैसिलिटी इन छत्तीसगढ़ नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली टुक ओवर एज द फोर्टी फर्स्ट नेशनल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फिक्की लेडीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी सो हु टुक ओवर एज द फोर्टी फर्स्ट नेशनल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फिक्की एल एफ एल ओ दैट इज फिक्कीज लेडीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो शी विल बी जोयश्री दास वर्मा टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस राइट शी विल सक्सीड होम शी विल बी सक्सीडिंग सुधा शिव कुमार राइट शी वॉज द फोर्टी एथ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एफ एल ओ एंड जोयश्री दास वर्मा शी विल बी द फोर्टी फर्स्ट प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एफ एल ओ नेक्स्ट बासीराव दियोम के फाइव वॉज इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ सेनेगल नेक्स्ट When was the UN International Day of Zero Waste observed across the globe? So, when was the UN International Day of Zero Waste observed across the globe? It was on 30th of March. It was to highlight the importance of blustering waste management and promoting sustainable consumption and production patterns. And this was the second annual International Day of Zero Waste observed on 30th of March. Next, which country became India's fifth largest crude oil supplier in Feb 2024? it is venezuela right it became india's fifth largest crude oil supplier in feb 2024 correct take a note of this remember until 2019 it was us and china on top and then on third position it was venezuela correct but now it is the fifth largest crude oil supplier to india in 2024 next the dash president of conference of parties that is cop 28 received the sara week leadership award for building global consensus towards a sustainable energy future from sara week by snp global so in march it was sultan ahmed al zabair the president of the cop 28 received sara week leadership award for building global consensus towards a sustainable energy future from sara week by snp global This is the prestigious award recognized by his extraordinary leadership in delivering the UAE consensus. Concess, so, friends, these were your important current affairs. Now, let's move to some revision part that will be very beneficial in your learning. Name the operation launched to evacuate stranded Indians in Haiti. So, we all know about the situation that is going on in Haiti right now. right so in order to evacuate indians from haiti the operation launched was operation indravati correct india has launched operation indravati to evacuate the indians stranded in haiti after the armed group seize control of the most of the caribbean nation now tell me what was operation ganga and what was operation ajay if we talk about operation ajay it is the operation that was launched by indian armed force to evacuate the indians from israel because of the israel and hamas war that was started right versus hamas what was operation ganga operation ganga was to evacuate indians from russia not from russia from ukraine right because of russia ukraine war right so remember operation indravati operation ajay and operation ganga according to global economic outlook india's gdp is expected to grow by how much percent in fiscal year 25 so according to the global economic outlook right this is released by snp global correct and according to them india's gdp forecast is 6.8% for fiscal year 25 right i repeat for fiscal year 25 india is expected to grow by 6.8% and for fiscal year 24 india's gdp is revised to 7.3% that was earlier expected to be around 6.9% correct and similarly if we talk about fiscal year 27 india is expected to grow by 6.2% and in fiscal year 26 india is expected to grow by 6.1% right 
and for inflation if we talk about for fiscal year 25 if we talk about the inflation it is expected to be at around 5.1 percent next international day of forest observed on 21st of march to celebrate and raise awareness of the significance of all the types of forest the theme being here is forest and innovation new solutions for a better world this is the theme for the international day of forest next is international day of navroz right it is observed on 21st of march and it is to foster cultural exchange and promote peace solidarity and good neighborliness the day aims to contribute to cultural diversity and friendship among people and different communities next next is world puppetry day it is also observed on 21st of march and it is to recognize puppetry as a global art forum the form the day also aims to promote and honor the puppeteers across the world and the theme here is the climate first question is europol and which organization signed a working agreement for cooperative relation that means europol and which other investigating agency will be working together correct between and basically it will be for law enhancement right for law enforcement law enhancement to combat serious crime and terrorism it is europol and cbi correct they together work will be working to against crime and terrorism right take a note of this this partnership between these two has been recently signed this will promote cooperation between these two organization they will share their strategies they will be sharing knowledge with each other they will be communicating with each other collaborating for various law enforcement if we talk about cbi who is the director of cbi praveen sood where is the headquarter new delhi and in 1963 this was established if we talk about europol who is the executive director here catherine de bol then where is the headquarter it is in hoch netherlands and it was established in 1999 next is indian navy under operation sankalp completed how many days under this operation so recently operation sankalp was held and under this indian navy has completed how many days so indian navy completed a total of 100 days of maritime security operation known as operation sankal this was launched on 14th of december 2023 and a total of 100 days has been completed right as a part of this operation sankal indian navy played a major role and they were looking at the security of indian ocean region right i repeat we know that in this indian ocean region security is important and china is looking and they are expanding their bases in various places near indian ocean regions right so in order to enhance the security in the indian ocean region this operation sankalp was held and 100 days was completed by indian navy as a part of this here various naval ships aircrafts various special forces right various battalions took part in this exercise and indian navy deployed more than 5000 personals at the sea right over 450 ship days right over 900 hours of flying were done during these 100 days right take a note of this operation sankalp right apart from this ins kolkata took part remember if name of indian naval ship passed here ins kolkata was one of the ship that took part in this exercise who is the chief of naval staff of navy admiral r hari kumar correct next is which organization amended mnp regulations to cater to the fraudulent swim swap activities right what are these mnp am and p what is mnp first of all you should know mnp was launched few years back and it is mobile number portability mobile number portability that means if you are having any sim say for example of vodafone and you want to switch it to jio it was made possible next fourth seo startup forum was held where 
फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ शंघाई कॉपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टार्टअप फॉरम वॉज हेल्ड रिसेंटली एंड एज द नेम सजेस्ट स्टार्टअप फॉरम हेयर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टार्टअप राइट हाउ वी कैन ग्रो दो स्टार्टअप हाउ वॉट आर द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट कैन बी ब्रॉट इन टू हेल्प दो स्टार्टअप वॉट आर द वेज दैट वी कैन हेल्प दो पीपल बिकम मोर मार्केट एफ्यूलेंट दे कैन बी कनेक्टेड विद मार्केट वी कैन फाइनेंस दैम ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी टॉक्ड अबाउट राइट ड्यूरिंग दिस स्टार्टअप फॉरम राइट एंड दिस वॉज द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ शंघाई कॉरपोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टार्टअप फॉरम एंड वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्थ दिस वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली इट वॉज ऑन नाइनटींथ ऑफ मार्च मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज विच बैंक हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ डिजिटल ओपनिंग ऑफ यू एस फिक्स डिपॉजिट फॉर एन आर आई कस्टमर्स एट जिफ्ट सिटी दिस इज वेयर दिस इज एट गांधीनगर इन गुजरात सो डिजिटल ओपनिंग ऑफ यू एस डॉलर फिक्स डिपॉजिट एट जिफ्ट सिटी गांधीनगर विच बैंक विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग दिस फैसिलिटी फॉर द एन आर आई कस्टमर्स इट इज एक्सिस बैंक राइट एक्सिस बैंक इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ डिजिटल ओपनिंग ऑफ यू एस डॉलर फिक्स डिपॉजिट फॉर एन आर आई कस्टमर्स एट जिफ्ट सिटी इन गांधीनगर गुजरात एंड दिस हेयर एक्सिस बैंक बिकेम द फर्स्ट बैंक टू ऑफर डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ जिफ्ट सिटी डिपॉजिट्स Here the customers can conveniently manage their fixed deposit and enjoy flexible investment tenures ranging from seven year uh, seven days to ten years. Right, partial or full mature FD closure can also be requested through Axis Bank mobile application. If we talk about Axis Bank, who is the managing director and chief executive officer here? Amitabh Chaudhary. Headquarter is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. and it was established in 1993 what is the tagline of axis bank that is badhti ka naam zindagi next is payu has introduced industries first down payment emi solution for online retail i repeat payu payments private limited that is a leading payment solution provider in india they have introduced a first of its kind down payment emi emi stands for equated monthly installment solution for an online retail this replicates the flexibility and convenience of down payment options available in the offline emis this will also enable the users to make a partial payment upfront while the remaining can be converted into easy emis next next is star housing finance they have signed up co lending partnership with tata capital housing finance right and it is to provide loans to economically weaker section and low income groups at more affordable rates next is acc appoints sadnanand vasant date as director general of nia rajiv kumar as director general of bpr and d and piyush anand as the director general of ndrf let me show you here sadnanand vasant date as the director general of national investigating agency piyush anand as the director general of national disaster response force and rajiv kumar as the director general of bureau of police research and development Acoms developed India's first indigenous hydroxyurea oral suspension for sickle disease. I repeat, Acoms Drug and Pharmaceuticals Limited. This is a New Delhi-based pharmaceutical company, and they have developed India's first homegrown indigenous hydroxyurea oral suspension, and it is for the treatment of sickle disease in the cost-effective way. This product received Drug Controller General of India's approval following rigorous review and bioequivalence. studies next next is sports here remember ferrari's carlo sainz junior has won the f1 australian australian grand prix so who won f1 australian grand prix it was won by carlos sainz carlos junior right he drives for ferrari he drives for ferrari and he is of spain and he has won the f1 australian grand prix if we look at the winners on first position san carlos for ferrari second charles lesler of ferrari and on third position lando norris of mclaren right next next is books and authors kerala animal husbandry minister released a book that was titled a compendium on non native organism organisms of india i repeat a compendium on 
नॉन नेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ इंडिया दिस बुक वॉज रिलीज बाय मिनिस्टर जे चिंचुरानी द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ केरला राइट ही इज एन एनिमल हजबेंड्री मिनिस्टर जे चिंचुरानी करेक्ट एन द बुक वॉज टाइटल अ कंपेडियम ऑन नॉन नेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ इंडिया दिस वॉज लॉन्च एट एन इवेंट एट टी के महादवा मेमोरियल कॉलेज दैट इज इन केरला एन दिस बुक वॉज को ऑथर्ड बाय के वी जयाचंद्रन ऑनररी प्रोफेसर ऑफ एक्वेटिक बायोलॉजी एंड फिशरीज डिपार्टमेंट राइट नेक्स्ट अलॉन्ग विद शीला एस एंड जैसमिन आनंद एंड विनोद हरिदास दीज आर द कॉलेज फैकल्टी मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज वी ऑब्जर्व अर्थ और अर्थ और वॉज ऑब्जर्व लास्ट सैटरडे ऑफ मार्च राइट ऑन द लास्ट सैटरडे ऑफ मार्च मंथ वी ऑब्जर्व अर्थ आर एंड वी ऑब्जर्व दिस अर्थ आर बाय टर्निंग ऑफ द लाइट फॉर सिक्सटी मिनट्स एज अ ग्लोबल सिंबल ऑफ यूनिटी एंड कमिटमेंट टूवर्ड्स प्रोटेक्टिंग द अर्थ एंड प्रिजर्विंग द एनवायरमेंट सो दिस ईयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वी ऑब्जर्व अर्थ आर ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ मार्च राइट नेक्स्ट एंड रिमेंबर दिस अर्थ आर दिस वॉज द एटीन ईयर दैट वी ऑब्जर्व द अर्थ आर एंड जनरली इट इज बिटवीन एट थर्टी पी एम टू नाइन थर्टी पी एम वी स्विच ऑफ द लाइट इन ऑर्डर टू सेलिब्रेट दिस अर्थ आर नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड थिएटर डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड इट इज टू प्रमोट थिएटर इन ऑल द फॉर्म्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड द डे हाईलाइट द इंटेंसिक वैल्यू ऑफ थिएटर एज एन आर्ट फॉर्म वर्ल्ड थिएटर डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च मार्क्स सिक्सटी सेकेंड एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ वर्ल्ड थिएटर डे अकॉर्डिंग टू मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस अ डाटा वॉज रिलीज एंड डाटा डाटा स्टेटेड दैट द डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट टच अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ हाउ मच अमाउंट इन एफ बाय ट्वेंटी फोर सो रिमेंबर दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट एज वी आर हैविली इन्वेस्टिंग और इंडिया इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स आर डिफेंस सेक्टर राइट वी आर मेकिंग और वी आर से वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट्स एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ इम्पोर्टिंग दोज इक्विपमेंट्स वी वॉन्ट टू मेक द इन हाउस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटीज फॉर दोज टेक्नोलॉजी बट नाउ अ डाटा ऑल्सो केम दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड एक्सपोर्टिंग दोज इक्विपमेंट्स एंड इंडिया हैज रिकॉर्ड द हाइएस्ट एवर डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ हाउ मच अमाउंट ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड एटी थ्री करोड़ रुपीज राइट दिस इज द अमाउंट दिस इज द हाइएस्ट अमाउंट दैट वी हैव टच सो फार दिस इज क्लोज टू टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री बिलियन डॉलर एंड दिस इज फॉर फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर करेक्ट एंड इफ वी कंपेयर टू फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज अ ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ आर डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट राइट लास्ट ईयर इन फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वॉज क्लोज टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी करोड़ रुपीज एंड दिस ईयर वी डेड ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड एटी थ्री करोड़ रुपीज इन आर डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट राइट एंड रिमेंबर द लेटेस्ट फिगर इंडिकेट्स दैट द डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट हैज ग्रोन बाई थर्टीन टाइम्स इफ वी कंपेयर टू फिजिकल ईयर फोर्टीन राइट दिस फ्रॉम फिजिकल ईयर फोर्टीन आर डिफेंस एक्सपोर्ट हैज ग्रोन बाय थर्टीन टाइम्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द बजट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी प्रमोशन स्कीम फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो रिमेंबर रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ न्यू इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी प्रमोशन स्कीम ई एम पी एस स्कीम फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इट विल बी एप्लीकेबल फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी फोर करेक्ट एंड दिस विल कंटिन्यू टिल द एंड ऑफ द जुलाई ट्वेंटी करेक्ट सो वॉट इज द बजट दैट हैज बिन अलॉकेटेड हेयर सो दिस स्कीम ई एम पी एस स्कीम हैज अलॉकेटेड अ बजट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज राइट एंड दिस ई एम पी एस स्कीम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाई विच मिनिस्ट्री इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज इट वॉज लॉन्च ऑन थर्टीन ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी दिस स्कीम एम्स टू प्रमोट अडोप्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इन इंडिया आई रिपीट वॉट इज द एम ऑफ दिस ई एम पी एस टू प्रमोट adoption of electric vehicles in india correct take a note of this and that two specific electric vehicles that is two wheelers and your three wheelers for two wheelers as well as your three wheelers for their adoption to promote the adoption of these two wheelers and three wheelers electric vehicles in india this empas scheme electric mobility promotion scheme was launched with an outlay of 500 crore rupees 
correct and as of now the scheme will be implemented for how many months it will be implemented for four months as we saw here from 1st of april to uh, 31st of july correct 2024 next is gagan shakti right this exercise gagan shakti 24 where was this held so gagan shakti exercise was held where it was held in field firing range of jaisalmer rajasthan in jaisalmer rajasthan apart from this remember apart from rajasthan this was held also in bhuj in gujarat right then in arunachal pradesh correct this exercise was held but remember mainly in pokhran rajasthan this exercise was conducted and in bhuj in gujarat and in arunachal pradesh this exercise was held from 1st of april to 10th of april and it was to display the prowess in executing high intensity operations across india then this exercise was conducted by whom this was conducted by indian air force this was a 10 day long exercise as we saw from 1st of april to 10th of april moving on next is hindustan aeronautics limited they recently signed a contract for indian navy ngmv project with which organization so hindustan aeronautics limited they signed a contract worth 1173 crore rupees and it was with cochin shipyards limited correct this cochin shipyard limited where is located it is in kochi kerala and this is for the supply of 6 lm 2500 gas turbines and auxiliaries right i repeat here hall they signed a contract with next is our homework section first recently national commission for women signed an mou with which security force to control human trafficking second what is the rank of india in world happiness report 2024 third state of global climate report recently seen in news is released by which organization fourth recently who has been appointed as the ambassador of india to russia and fifth valmiki tiger reserve recently seen in news is located in which state so these are your five homework question friends and i need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue